Auschwitz. A place of unequaled horror. Four million died here in the gas chambers. The crematoria chimneys belched their black smoke, and for the suffering victims of the final solution, there was freedom at last. For here, the only freedom was death at the hands of the Nazis. Now, 22 years after the discovery of the nearest thing to hell on earth devised by man, survivors, relatives of the dead, and many who just remember, came through the gates above which Hitler's murderers had inscribed the hateful lie, work brings freedom. The perpetual flame burned bright on a spring day in 1967 in memory of those who proved the lie. For on this day, a permanent memorial to the victims from 23 nations was to be dedicated by Polish Premier Józef Sierankiewicz, himself a survivor of the death camp. Memories, emotions, tears. All there is left for those who return. A husband, a child, loved ones. They were the victims. They laid wreaths to the cherished memory of the dead. But the flowers and the memorial stone can only be slight expressions of the anguish and heartache still suffered by those who remember, through bitter experience, the murderers who wore swastikas.